the Olympic Committee should be ashamed of themselves. I think they should be embarrassed. I think they should take all the uniforms, put them in a big pile and burn them and start all over again. All If they have to wear nothing but a singlet that says USA on it, painted by hand, that's what they should wear. We, 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 ha we have people in America, in the, in the textile in industry, we have people in the textile industry who are desperate for jobs. And I think what the Olympic Committee done is absolutely wrong. Elva Ramirez is here to talk us, to us about the hot water that <laughs> Ralph Lauren has gotten itself in over the Olympic uniforms that it's making, which are not made in America. Tell us, first of all, about the problem Ralph, Ralph Lauren has and about how we got here. So the, the Olympic, uh, U.S. Olympic uniforms came out to great, great uh, acclaim. People, uh, aesthetically, critics really liked the, thing, the, the design of them. But soon after, uh, politicians took note that they were made in China. And they were saying these should, they should all have been made in the U.S. We should now burn these uniforms and start Harry all over. Just told yes, us, right. and they should start all over again. Uh, what's difficult about that is that it's very hard to make things in the U.S. It can be done, but it usually means that it's a lot more expensive. The state of the U.S. fashion industry is such that we no longer have mills, and it's just much cheaper to produce things offshore, often significantly so. So Ralph Lauren is making these, these uniforms in China. Could they physically have been made in the U.S.? Is there the factory power and the manpower to make uniforms for several hundred athletes right here in the United there States. There is, there is, and he, they probably maybe should have anticipated this and could have negotiated to have been made, to have these make, made in the, U in the U.S., in the New York, you know, New York has a vibrant garment district, uh, but they didn't, and most, the thing that, uh, the idea of made in New York or made in the U.S. has broken down at some point because even if they were manufactured here, we no longer have, no longer have mills, so that fabric would have come from overseas in general. So politicians posture about all this stuff. It's actually a little annoying to see them get uh, so upset about these uniforms when they have much bigger problems to deal with. <laughs> Having said that, I think Harry Reid has a point here. Uh, so so what, what Ralph Lauren is doing is a marketing exercise. They want their brand and they want their name out there for all the world to see on these uniforms. I mean, did they have to be cutting corners and cutting costs to, 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 to make a few hundred uniforms when they could have made them here in the United States yes. a little bit less. He, he, yeah, he yeah. might have a point He, he does have a point, and maybe things could have been negotiated. But often, you know, when you look at something that's made in New York or made in the U.S., that's now, that means now it's luxury. Often a lot of luxury brands like The Row and Jason, uh, Jason Wu and Prabal, Prabal Garan, and also Honor, uh, what they do is they make a choice. They say, if something is made in New York, we're going to pay more people for it. We're paying fair wages. And that means it's a lot more expensive. So there is a real uh, awareness of how much things cost. I call up this designer from, uh, that's based in New York called Honor, and they, they explain that to make the same jacket, have, just to make it, cost anywhere between $300 and $350, whereas if they shipped it offshore, it would be about half that price. Right. And that is then marked up four times sold but, at retail. But maybe Ralph Lauren should have eaten that cost since it's getting this great branding exercise. Yeah, they probably the... didn't anticipate it that, they probably didn't anticipate that people would be looking at the labels. Uh, and, you know, you know, live and learn. They'll know, know, know better learn. next We'll have time. another Olympics uh, two years from yeah. now in the winter. Exactly. Maybe they will learn something. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.